Number 8. Damori Makula In late October of 2021, a Florida TikTok star was arrested for provoking a police pursuit in Pasco County. 18-year-old Damori Makula ran a red light and then deliberately performed a burnout at a stop sign in front of a police car. He then sped off in his Dodge Challenger and engaged the authorities in a 100-mile-per-hour chase. Makula refused to stop as instructed by the police and pulled over into a nearby residential neighborhood. He was later identified after being tagged by one of the pursuing officers. Makula was later arrested at his home and started boasting to the authorities as he was being read his Miranda rights. Trooper W. Kelly of the Florida Highway Patrol told a local media outlet that Makula's state of mind was that he could do whatever he wanted because he was young, had a fast car, and made a lot of money. The Florida Highway Patrol towed away his challenger and arrested Makula on charges that included eluding police with disregard of safety to persons or property, reckless driving, and racing on a highway. Number 7. Gabrielle Egan TikTok star and US military veteran Gabrielle Egan was arrested in the summer of 2021 for a violent outburst at the Marquis Pool Club in Las Vegas. Aside from boasting a following of an estimated 3 million on the social media platform, 21-year-old Egan was known as the podcast co-host of MTV's Teen Mum 2 alum, Janelle Evans. The trip to Las Vegas was meant as a celebration of her three-year wedding anniversary. It's unclear what had prompted her disorderly behavior, but Egan had begun screaming at other club patrons, prompting security to approach her. She was asked to leave but refused to do so, at which point staff detained her for trespassing and contacted the authorities. A scuffle then ensued in which Egan tried kicking a security guard between the legs. Fortunately, the man had read the situation and managed to deflect the strike. When police arrived at the scene and placed Egan in handcuffs, she attempted the same kick on an officer but hit his knee instead of the intended target. The young woman struggled to break away as law enforcement tried to contain her and also struck an officer in the nose with the back of her head during an attempted search. She then went limp, forcing the authorities to carry her out to the cruiser, only to then start threatening them on the way to jail. Egan was booked on two counts of battery and interference with a public officer. Number 6. Jaden Hostler and Bryce Hall While on their way to a party, two of TikTok's biggest stars were arrested in Texas in May of 2020 and held on drug charges. Jaden Hostler and Bryce Hall, aged 19 and 20 respectively, were part of a collective known as The Sway House. They lived with other young social media influencers at a luxury Bel Air residence where they all created content together. Hostler and Hall were on a road trip from California to attend a party at a rented Airbnb in Texas and were stopped by the authorities in Giddens. Their arrest subsequently went viral on TikTok after an employee working at a restaurant nearby filmed it with her cell phone. The clip also showed the TikTok stars and others in their posse entering the establishment. Hall was given a misdemeanor charge of marijuana possession. Hostler was also charged with possession of less than two ounces of marijuana, but also with less than 400 grams possession of a controlled substance in Penalty Group 2, a second-degree felony. The authorities didn't disclose what the substance was, but the category contains most stimulants and hallucinogens. Both Hall and Hostler were later released on bail. Number 5. Ali Nazir Abulaban In October of 2021, a TikTok influencer was arrested and charged with double homicide in what was reported to have been a crime born out of jealousy. Under the username JinKid, Ali Nazir Abulaban, aged 29, had amassed nearly 1 million followers on the platform through comedy skits and impressions, particularly that of Tony Montana from the 1983 gangster movie Scarface. Abu Laban and his wife, 28-year-old Anna, had been having troubles in their relationship. The woman had been pushing for a divorce after an alleged domestic violence incident involving her husband, which had occurred in front of their five-year-old daughter. On October the 18th, Abu Laban moved out of their home in East Village, San Diego, but had secretly kept a key. He returned to the residence three days later, vandalized it, and installed a listening app on his daughter's iPad. It's unknown why Anna didn't immediately notify the police of the incident. Within a few hours, Abu Laban used the app to spy on his wife and heard her talking and laughing with another man. Maddened by jealousy, Abu Laban then went to the apartment and executed Anna as well as her friend, identified as 29-year-old Rayburn Cardanus Barron. 
both succumbed to gunshot wounds to the head. Deputy District Attorney Taryn Brast told the media that the handgun used in the double killing was still in Abu Laban's possession as he went to pick up his daughter from school. The child was in the TikToker's vehicle when he was detained by the authorities on Interstate 805 after the shooting. Abu Laban maintained his innocence and a preliminary hearing was subsequently scheduled for January the 5th of 2022. In the aftermath, his first cousin and close friend Louis Marinari, aged 23, offered some potential insight into the horrific double killing. He claimed that Abu Laban attempted to control his wife and had grown frustrated with her expanding social life. Marinari also believed that the TikToker had been empowered by social media and may have potentially gotten lost in his online persona, stating, I think fame created a monster. Number 4. Crystal Briscoe Crystal Briscoe, known to her TikTok following as Coco, was arrested in 2021 following an online feud with two restaurants from Arlington, Virginia. 39-year-old Briscoe had earned attention on TikTok through her candid commentary on her dating experience in the DC area. Briscoe claimed that the feud with the two establishments had started after she had been stood up at one of them. She told her followers that a male bartender, whom she only identified as Nicholas, had talked to her and bought her drinks, essentially making her evening better. Briscoe was then allegedly shown a group text chain that led her to believe the encounter had been staged to mock and humiliate her. The group, which included Nicholas, reportedly called her names, endorsed violence against her, and even featured a clip of her biking home taken by a female bartender, Charlotte, from a second restaurant. Briscoe alleged that she was the victim of an online harassment plot and made unsubstantiated claims that the establishments endorsed and were complicit to the two bartenders' behavior. The feud resulted in Briscoe being served with a protective order that prevented her from talking about Charlotte, whom she referred to as a stalker or associated matters on social media. Briscoe violated the order three days later by revealing the names of the two restaurants, Rebellion on the Pike and the Celtic House Irish Pub and Restaurant, which she hadn't up to that point. In retaliation, the TikToker's following began leaving a plethora of negative reviews on Google and Yelp. When the police arrived at her home the following morning with another restraining order, she told them to wait outside and took the opportunity to make another TikTok. With the officers at her door, she released more information about the two bartenders. Charlotte and Nicholas, much like their workplaces, also felt the wrath of Briscoe's followers. By their account, they'd only talked about Briscoe to warn others that she was a difficult customer. The TikToker was taken to jail for violating the order, but according to updates, the charges were dropped in September. Number 3. Marissa Clotier On August the 25th of 2021, Marissa Clotier, also known as Digital Princess on social media, was arrested for child neglect after neighbors found her five-year-old son crying alone outside her Florida home. In addition to being a popular Twitch streamer and TikToker, 24-year-old Clotier also created adult content for various websites including OnlyFans. Officers were called to the residence at night and found the child distressed but unharmed. He'd been left without any supervision for at least an hour in walking distance of traffic, bodies of water and wildlife. Officers found Clotier's cell phone number on a form and called her. She claimed to have only made a quick trip to a 7-Eleven for laundry detergent after putting her child to sleep. The police didn't find her story credible as she returned to the home with a half-empty detergent bottle. She was wearing full makeup and a black mini dress, an aspect that made officers doubt she'd simply taken a late night trip to the store. Their suspicions proved accurate when, as she was being read her Miranda rights, Clotier admitted that she'd gone to see a friend 11 miles away. A sentence in the matter has yet to be pronounced. Clotier, whose mugshot went viral, was heavily criticized on social media, with a number of users speculating that she'd abandoned her young son for an intimate rendezvous. Today's topic was requested by Christy Pfeiffer, Bite Me Loser, and Kianai Tease. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Hanin Hossam and Mauda Al Adam. An Egyptian court sentenced two TikTok stars to multiple years in prison in June of 2021, following an arguably questionable charge of human trafficking. Hanin Hossam and Mawada Al Adam, both in their early 20s, were sentenced to 10 and 6 years respectively. They'd previously been charged with violating family values through the videos they'd posted on the social media platform. 
Hossam was first arrested in April of the previous year after inviting her female followers to join another social media platform called Likey and telling them that they could earn money by broadcasting videos on it. A month later, Adam was also accused of violating family values for TikToks in which she danced in fashionable clothes and lip-synced to famous songs, something that prosecutors deemed indecent. The influencers were sentenced to two years each and fined close to $20,000. They'd spent months in prison by the time the family values charges were dropped on appeal. However, the human trafficking charges were introduced instead, with prosecutors arguing Hossam and Adam had been using girls in acts contrary to the principles and values of Egyptian society with the aim of gaining material benefits. The pair's lengthy convictions were part of a wider crackdown by Egyptian authorities on female social media influencers. Human rights activists have condemned it as a violation of privacy, freedom of expression, and non-discrimination. Number 1. Naim Derechi in the summer of 2021, Spain's biggest TikTok star came under fire and faced the possibility of spending 12 years in prison following remarks made during a YouTube interview. 19-year-old Naim Derechi boasted during the conversation that he tricked partners into unprotected intimate relations by telling them he's sterile. The comment sparked outrage from girls and women who pointed to the fact that Derechi had essentially admitted to criminal actions. As argued by Minister Irene Montero, the TikToker's words were particularly damaging, considering that his following on the platform was close to 27 million. Under the legal system in effect at the time, Derechi's actions would have constituted abuse. However, Spain had approved a draft bill for a new law commonly known as the Only Yes Is Yes Law, which would essentially regard all forms of non-consensual intercourse as assault. If approved and if Derechi was to be convicted in accordance with it, he'd face a lengthy prison sentence. The authorities launched an investigation into him while the TikToker has since apologized for his comments on Instagram, admitting blame and claiming that his statements had been an exaggeration. Thanks for watching. If you could only choose one, which would you rather be, rich or famous? Let us know in the comments section below.